Hello and welcome to the What's New in Fusion 360 for August 2020. Before we dive in, be sure to register for the Advanced Manufacturing Summit, happening August 25th through the 27th. It's free, online, and will feature sessions by industry professionals on additive manufacturing, injection molding, CAM, and more. Click the link in the description to learn more and register. In the last update, we added even depths of cut to profile roughing operations, and now we've added support for back cutting. For more information on the details of even depths of cut, check out the blog post linked in the description. We also added isolate to the context menu in the manufacturer workspace. This toggles the visibility of everything except the selected part. To view everything again, right-click on the same component and select Unisolate. For both WCS probing and probe geometry, when probing a vertical wall along X or Y, we've added the ability to adjust the position of the probed point by dragging the point at the tip of the arrow and sliding the point along the X or Y axis. Checking the Use Selection Point box uses the location that you clicked when selecting the face. Do note that the height of the probed point is still defined in the Heights tab. Finally, we have a few features coming into public preview. First up, template libraries add a new interface that allows you to filter, view, and edit your toolpath templates much like you can with tool libraries. Create and navigate library folders on the left, search, edit, copy, import, export, and delete templates using the commands in the middle section. Filter and view details about each template on the right. This should make navigating and managing your toolpath templates significantly easier. Check out the help documentation in the description for more details. Post with NC Programs updates and standardizes the post processing experience across Mac and Windows using the NC Programs window. There are a ton of benefits to using NC Programs over the old post processor dialog, including search, easy access to post properties, and a visual representation of toolpath reordering. If you're like me and use a Mac, this experience is way better than the Mac post dialog, with easy access to defining the output folder, the online library, and opening the configuration file. If you haven't started using NC programs, I highly recommend checking them out and letting us know your feedback, since this is the foundation for some exciting development as we build out a more robust post processor platform. Also coming to public preview is manufacturing model. Manufacturing models allow you to add or remove features from the design without affecting the original model that appears in the design workspace. The original model and the manufacturing model remain mutually exclusive. So if you need to remove chamfers or add work holding, it doesn't affect the original design. To edit the manufacturing model, double click or select edit from the context menu. This brings up tools to help you edit or modify the model to prepare it for manufacture including remove features for quick defeaturing or insert derive to bring in work holding models. To create another manufacturing model, you can duplicate an existing manufacturing model or create a new one from the original design. One important note is that while this public preview will eventually become a fully released feature for everyone using Fusion 360, it should not disrupt any existing workflows. The last feature coming to public preview is one inside of the manufacturing model Arrange. Arrange is available in the Modify menu while editing the manufacturing model, and it arranges all selected components within a given area. This might sound simple, but it's extremely powerful and flexible. Once you've selected components to arrange, you can either select a plane or sketch to arrange them on. If you select a plane, you'll enter the dimensions of the area to arrange the parts within. If you select a sketch, the parts will be arranged within the profile you select. So if I have a rectangle with a hole in it, the parts will stay within the rectangle but outside of the hole. Great for using up extra stock or avoiding an area. The arrangement also updates dynamically if you edit the parts themselves or the sketch they are arranged inside of. Note that you'll need both the manufacturing model and arrange previews enabled to access the arrange command. If you give it a try, please leave feedback at the link in the description. Also be sure to check out the help documentation also linked below. As always, be sure to check out the What's New in Design and Engineering video, as well as the What's New blog post, linked down below. See you next time.